Hello everybody, this is Streaming Gaming Year for the, the announcement of the next mini tournament. And as you can see, the Kakashin Clash won the vote. Uh, yeah, it was quite a landslide victory. I think it's like a strong majority voted for Kakashin Clash. So here it is. And this one's a very interesting tournament because it features all the dinosaurs that were released during the Kakashin era. So, without further ado, let's go through our, these dinosaurs. Okay, up, this is kind of all over the place, to be honest. <laughs> I usually order it in like gold, silvers, and then bronzes, and then the others. But nope, it's all over the place. So, up first, we have Gigant Spinosaurus, released in Kakashin first. And I've included all of the moves that were released during the Kakashin era as well, except for a few. So we have Gigant Spinosaurus coming in first. We have Satyosaurus coming back for yet another mini tournament. I think it's three in a row he's been in now. Satyosaurus released debuted in Kakajin first. Udanoceratops finally getting to see a lightning dinosaur in this tour in, in a tournament. <laughs> Last two tournaments has not featured a lightning dinosaur. And the only secret dinosaur in this tournament, the Eoraptor, which debuted in Kakajin first. So this is going to be a very interesting competitor here, Eoraptor. It's either going to fall like a lead balloon, or it's going to do well and surprise people. We have our first gold debuting in Kakajin second, Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus. It's a mouthful, but it could also be a handful. Panoplosaurus. Only only one one printing of Panoplosaurus, which was in CAC 2nd. Oh, wait, no, no, it came in CAC 4th. But I think it only has one battle type, which is a lethal type, so Panoplosaurus could be one to watch. Indosuchus, which debuted in Kakashin 3rd. Always a wild card, always a wild card, this guy. Could do well, could do well. Alberta Ceratops, which also debuted in Kakashin 3rd. Gondwana Titan, the little sauropod with the big heart. Enough said about him. Lanzusaurus. People quite like using Lanzusaurus in my uh, major, in my main tournament, so I'm sure it will be a popular dinosaur amongst these guys. Rugops. Yet again, we have quite a lot of wind dinosaurs. <laughs> Polacanthus, the local hero, the orange boy. Edmontosaurus, one of the very last grass dinosaurs to be released. Okay, now this one is an interesting one because this one's the orange Triceratops. This is the Triceratops I theorize is a different variant of Triceratops. So my theory is that the normal Triceratops, the one with 1400 strength, and Maximus are Triceratops Maximus. Chomp and the orange Triceratops I think is Triceratops Horridus. And you have examples of of like the same dinosaurs but different like genuses with Lambiosaurus and Allosaurus. So I think this Triceratops is the same. Because of that, I do believe that this Triceratops was supposed to be released during the Kakashin era. And for that reason, I have justified putting it in. And well, if I didn't put it in, we'd have 23 combatants. And well, 23 is a prime number, so it's a horrific number to work with. But 24 is much more rounded and easier. So yeah, orange Triceratops will feature Metriacanthosaurus, the very last fire dinosaur that was added. Another local hero, Augustinia, the very last water dinosaur to be featured. And Pyatnitskysaurus. Now Pyatnitskysaurus is another one that uh, you could say could should it be in here because it did debut during the Kakashin era. Its move card came out like really early on. But its dinosaur card came out in Kakashin 6. So for that, I have justified putting it in. And then we have Ulura Titan, like Edmontosaurus, one of the very last grass dinosaurs to be added. And Eocarcaria, the regular one, which was added during the Alpha Gang Hunt series thing, which had all those Alpha Gang Campaign cards, which featured in Kakashin 2nd. So Eocarcaria did come out during the Kakashin era. I'm pretty sure of that. Right, we got some, we got some alpha dinosaurs now. So Alpha Rajasaurus, Alpha Sucumimus, and Alpha Iguanodon, all of whom featured it as combined cards during Caction Second, and they got individual cards during Caction Six. Things like Alpha Acro, Alpha, all the other alphas featured much earlier and didn't debut during the Caction era, so they are not included. And we actually have two armored dinosaurs. So we have Omega Eocarcaria because I needed the numbers, and we have the return of Brontokins. Fresh from his victory in the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. Looking to be the first dinosaur to win two mini tournaments. And you'll be a strong favourite. And that is our combatants, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, a very varied lineup this time. A lot of dinosaurs you don't get to see that often. So it's going to be a really exciting tournament to see how, how these guys fare. Right, let's get on with this, shall we? So, I've numbered everything. Let's get started. Number 11, ooh, Rugops. So Rugops will be debuting in the first matchup. And his opponent shall be... 
number 15. So we're going to see Rugops going up against Metriacanthosaurus. Right, number... Ooh, we got Gigant Spinosaurus up, up next. And his opponent will be... Ooh, Eoraptor getting called up early there. Right, next matchup. Number... Ooh, Brontokin's getting his call. Brontokin's probably the tournament favourite. Ooh, it's going to be tough for Panoplosaurus. He could be Brontokin's first victim. Right, let's move on. Number eight. So we have Alberta Ceratops. And his opponent's going to be... Oh, ooh, oh, that makes things really interesting. It's Eocarcaria. And that means that Eocarcaria, Omega Eocarcaria and Brontokins could end up playing each other in the quarterfinal round. Ooh. Tyson, that could be. Okay, number two, Satiosaurus. And his opponent shall be... Well, you can't play Eocarcaria. You'll have to play... Ooh, the Orange Triceratops. A good matchup for the Triceratops Horridus. Grand number eight. Okay, number 18. Ooh, so it's Uluru Titan. And his opponent shall be... Ooh, an all-grass encounter there. Uluru Titan versus Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus. We are halfway through the draw. I'll drop the number down to 12. And let's continue. So we have number 11. Ooh, Alpha Sucaminus, the first Alpha Dinosaur to be drawn out. And, and his opponent shall be number 3. So that is... Ooh, the Gonwana Titan. The little sauropod with the big heart. Can he go far in this tournament? Okay, next matchup is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Ooh, Augustinia. Augustinia could be a dark horse in this tournament. His opponent shall be... Number 8. Ooh, so it's Augustinia versus Alpha Rajasaurus. A good matchup there for Augustinia. Alright, I'll drop this down to 8 and let's continue. Number 1. Ooh, Adanoceratops finally getting his call up. And you, my friend, will be taking on... Ooh, Eocarcaria, the normal one. Very intriguing matchup that could be. Okay, number five. So that should be Pianitskisaurus. Pianitskisaurus, the poisonous pest, going up against... Ooh, Polacanthus. Could be an exciting matchup. Okay, we should be down to four combatants. They are Indosuchus, Lanzusaurus, Edmontosaurus, and Alpha Iguanodon. Wow, three grass dinosaurs, that's interesting. So no matter who Indosuchus gets, he's going to get a good matchup here. So this draw has turned out very well for Indosuchus. Okay, so it's Edmontosaurus, and he is taking on... Oh, the Indosuchus, so best case scenario there for Indosuchus. And that leaves Lanzusaurus to take on Alpha Iguanodon, but let's see who gets, who goes on the left and the right. Okay, so Lanzusaurus will go on the left and Iguanodon will go on the right. Right, that is our matchups, ladies and gentlemen, for the first round. And, well, I can tell you straight away, you don't want to be in this bracket. You've got Eocarcaria, the other Eocarcaria, and Brontokins all in this bracket. It's going to be a very tough bracket to get to this point. As for these two brackets, well, this one's interesting. Seems very favourable for the Indosuchus because all the grass dinosaurs... Actually, yeah, all the grass dinosaurs are in this bracket, which is very good for Indosuchus. No fire dinosaurs either, so probably these two it fears the most. But as we have seen before, you know, upsets can happen. So yeah, Indosuchus actually has a pretty good chance, even against something like Magna Crustatus. But we don't want to underestimate these dorsal grass munchers, do we? And the orange triceratops can pose a problem. But yeah, Indosuchus could be a dark horse in this tournament to do well. As for this bracket, well, not really the best bracket if you're a fire dinosaur, because quite a few water types here, and Alpha Rajasaurus facing Augustinia, not the best opening matchup. Alpha Suchomimus again, a, a decent dinosaur, and then you obviously have the outsider, which is Eoraptor, which... You never know what that thing can do. Metriacanthosaurus is getting a good opening matchup against Rugops. Good type advantage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're excited for this tournament. And I hope you're... Which matchup stands out the most to you? For me, it's going to be these two. Because these two could end up playing each other if they win their opening matches. And yeah, until then, this is Strainy Gamer. Signing out. Mm -hmm.